Hi, I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at Hot Docs in downtown Toronto. I'm here with filmmaker Serge Jiguer. How does it feel to have your film Finding McPherson here at Hot Docs? Oh, it, uh, it's a privilege because uh, for this film especially, the, the scene who, um, who finished the film, it's, uh, it's here in Toronto with the uh, English uh, people like uh, the McPherson. It's, it's why, uh, yes, I, it's a good uh, place to, uh, to screen. It's not the first time that I came here. It's the third or fourth time that I came here with my films and I have a, you know, a review of my film in 2006. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back. Yeah. <laughs> and tell me a little bit about the importance of identity in this story. And, you know, I think as Canadians, we, we often struggle with this idea, but how your protagonist was dealing with these yeah. ideas of identity and who she was. Yes, because um, my main character, uh, she's a woman, um, she has a quest, you know, about the uh, identity. She is a black from uh, his uh, father. His, uh, her, fa her father was Haitian, her mother was a white woman in Quebec, and, uh, but she, she, she was adopted, and she, she looks for uh, his, uh, her roots, you know, and it, it, it was a quest all along the film uh, by, uh, by looking at the McPherson guy who came here in 1917, who, who, who he was, uh, he arrived here, he studied at McGill University and he, he, he was in the country of Quebec, between Montreal and Quebec in Three Rivers. And, um, uh, you know, for her, it was like uh, somebody of his family because her family, because she was looking for her family, and uh, it was like a hero that uh, a French Canadian poet like Felix Leclerc made made a song around his name. He, he, you know, it was uh, in the song. He was a uh, McPherson was a log, dry uh, log man, you know, as you said. And um, but in the real life, he was a mentor for her. For uh, Felix Atlas, he was an educated guy from Jamaica. He studied at university. He was an engineer. You know, it, all that, you know, for my character was important. That uh, a guy coming from out there, you know, in, uh, from Jamaica, arriving here, and uh, in the in the 30s, only one person black in his community, and to befriend. And to to uh, to to give uh, her philosophy of uh, uh, life, you know, her philo its philosophy of life, uh, you know, uh, to this uh, young French Canadian guy uh, that passionate my uh, character, who said she said yes, wow, we were something, and no, not everybody know that, and we have to. To go through this history, it was a, it was like a hero for her, that uh, McPherson. That's it. And in terms of the song, what, can you tell me a little bit about what it meant to you and your connection to the song even before you did this project? Uh, the song, uh, me, uh, I loved uh, this uh, poet, uh, Felix Letlet. When I was a teenager with my sister, uh, we, we sang. Uh, especially a few songs of this, uh, this guy, you know. Mm -hmm. And it was, uh, I, and at school, he wrote uh, some novels and we, we read, read uh, th that at school too. And uh, yes, McPherson, I didn't really know uh, this song, especially. But um, it's all our, me, I come from the countryside mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, the, the woods logging and the, it was a part of our history and uh, but uh, the real McPherson uh, was not uh, in the logging uh, section in the logging uh, logging band you know it was a uh, chemistry but it it, it Felix Atlet took his name only for making uh, the song you know you know he did the song the, the name of his his friend. That's it. Absolutely. 
And what was it like for you working with the National Film Board? Oh, it was a long time. That, uh, I started my uh, career in, uh, with the National Film Board. 1971, I was there. Yes, uh, as a stunt cameraman. And I, I have the chance to work with um, uh, great uh, documentaries like uh, Pierre Perrault, uh, Bernard Gosselin, and uh, Gilles Gros. And that was, that was really my school. And Arthur Lamotte, too. And we, I, I think that th at that time that I discovered that uh, to go to, um, to people uh, different from us, because we, we went to, to see the uh, Indian people, uh, what's it, Native, people. Native people here, you know, all around the country, mm -hmm. from, uh, from uh, Labrador, to uh, Vancouver Island with the, uh, in, in the 1990, I was uh, often with Maurice Bilbilian at the NFB as a cameraman with the, 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 the politics problem with the, the native people around the salmon and the, around the whole the many problems. Yes, it's why I think that the question that uh, somebody interests me like uh, Martin quest mm -hmm. with the different people coming but are part of our community mm -hmm. and often we we forget that We've, that's it and how's martin doing now oh uh, martin is looking for another project oh, okay. yes but um, it's long time it's a long process with her to to start a new project but the, the film that she made you know it was a painting on the glass mm -hmm. it eight years to make a little film of uh, 10 minutes, yeah. you know, and uh, I think that's the, the last one that she, she could do, she can do uh, in this way. She, she, um, she, she, she will maybe uh, doing a feature film. Uh, she's looking, she's writing something with, with animation, sure, but uh, some time, some place in the film, but, uh, you know, she's looking for it. Um, yeah. Well, thank you so much, and congratulations, and enjoy your time here in Toronto. Thank you very much, too. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> I'm Katie Allman, reporting for Katie Chats at the National Film Board in Toronto.